Hello, this is Mr. Evil Cheese. And I'm Zombicat. And this is our review of the Star Wars The Black Series Titanium Series. Which, I don't know, can you really have two series? I mean, it says The Black Series Titanium Series. Can, are they, <laughs> can you have that? I don't know if that works. But they're doing it. So, okay. <laughs> but this is the second wave of these. We already reviewed the first wave. First eight helmets. These are the second eight helmets. And they got some cool ones in there that I was really hoping they'd make. So, let's look at them. Now, they got the numbers just like the Black Series figures. This one is Finn, FN2187. So that's Finn where he's got his bloody mark on a Stormtrooper helmet. And also the First, first Order TIE Fighter pilot. They already had the Elite version of him. But this is the regular version that doesn't have the red stripes. And here's number six. Which is the Death Trooper from Rogue One. And the Rebel Commando, and I think that's the one from Return of the Jedi. And we got number seven, which is the one I want most. This comes with Leia's Boosh disguise helmet. Boosh! <laughs> Leia's Boosh! <laughs> you want to see Leia's Boosh? There it is. <laughs> and then there's the Boba Fett helmet. That's number seven. <laughs> number eight is from the Rebel series. You got Sabine Wren. And the uh, cartoony looking Darth Vader helmet. Well, let's open these up. I want to point out that this TIE Fighter helmet is a real pain in the ass to get out of plastic. I had to cut it with scissors. Cut the plastic with scissors. It just did not want to come out of there. Alright, so there they all are opened up. And I think for the most part they're all pretty cool. This is amazing. And here is Finn's helmet. The one where his buddy wipes his bloody hands on it. That's one of my favorites. They did a really good job on the blood. It does look cool. I like it a lot. And here's the original one. Just a regular First Order Stormtrooper. For sure. better with blood on it. It does. Stormtroopers don't get blood on them very often. I know. There's not much there blood. There should be more blood in Star Wars. Uh, there should. They Whether it makes sense or not, I just like gore. <laughs> I know. <laughs> they cut that awesome scene of Chewbacca ripping that guy's arm off in the bar. And they cut it. They should have kept... I watched the... Did I show it to you? Yeah. yeah but, uh, I wish they would have kept that in. <laughs> but that's a cool helmet. And I found out. I didn't realize this in the first one. There was only like one of these that I could get off. But you can get them all off. It just takes a little pressure and they will pop off of there. <laughs> and knock over toys. <laughs> Those Banks. are off screen. Right. No, it was on screen. Oh, was it? <laughs> Sasha Banks went flying on the screen. <laughs> And then they pop back in. But if you break yours, don't It's not our fault. Yet. Now here is the TIE Fighter Pilot. This is the regular version. He's cool looking, but the the pack just hanging there just looks weird. Well, it's, I don't know. But here's the Elite version. I like the red stripes better. I'm surprised they even made this version, but it's, I guess it's all right they did. To get all the helmets, eventually. But, yeah, the pack... You could take the pack off if you don't like it. So... If you don't like it, take it off. <laughs> well, I think it's kind of boring without the pack, but the pack's just sitting in front of it looks weird. Well, what else are you going to do with it? I don't know. It's supposed to be attached to his I chest. I don't know. I like it that it's there. <laughs> oh, but it's a nice, shiny helmet. So is this one. The gloss on this one's pretty cool, too. And this one also looks shiny. All the glossy ones are pretty glossy. They are. <laughs> They're not all glossy, though. No. But Half of them are glossy. This whole thing's metal, but this part of it is plastic. And here is the Death Trooper from Rogue One. And that's a pretty cool one. One thing is I'd rather these green parts be a little more green and noticeable because they, they glow in the movies, so it'd just be cool if you could see them a little more. Yeah, you can barely tell that they're green. Yeah. And it's the same. The visors are supposed to be dark, but you can still see the little bit of green hint there. I like the scuffed up marks. And they got this little thing, which I don't know what it does. It'd be cool if I had a light inside of it. Yeah, that would be cool. But that's a pretty cool helmet. It's very detailed with all the little vents looking things and I like it a lot. And here is the Rebel Commando whatever they call it, helmet. And I think it's the one from Return of the Jedi when they're on the Force Moon of Endor. And they did a good job, but it's boring. Yeah. I just don't really like it. I this is one that I've seen, I'm like, I don't want that, but I 
after I open it up, I, I like it a lot more in person. They did go to do a good job, I just don't particularly like that. And this strap is kind of adjustable, I don't know why it's adjustable, what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... In case it, you find a head to stick it on. Yeah. But I like the detail on it, the paint on it's good. It's scuffed up marks and up there. They did a good job on it. And here's Leia's boosh helmet. Or if you want to, Leia's boosh. <laughs> you could just get over Leia's boosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. You could just say it's boosh's helmet. Because... I'm like a 13 year old boy. <laughs> but it uh, it looks pretty cool. I wish this part here I think could have been done a little better. Maybe this tan part. This I don't know. They try to scuff it up, but it just looks kind of funny. I mean, the whole helmet's kind of funny looking. I always liked it. It's just an odd helmet helmet. It reminds me of one of those uh, clicky things where you see the picture. What are yeah. those called? Oh, yeah. Uh, something scope or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It looks like something should be scrolling across there, like advertisements or something. <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of a cool helmet. It, it's like sort of like a Boba Fett type helmet with that squinty little visor. And here is the Boba Fett helmet. This is the one I, like that one. I really wanted. Yeah. My main gripe with it. I didn't even notice until I compared it to the Hot Toys Boba Fett. Is the green is a weird color of green. It's not. It's almost like a sea foam green. Yes, that's not sure right. It's supposed to be darker than that. This is just an odd green. The uh, scuffed up battle damage marks are pretty cool though. I think they actually put a dent in it. Yeah, it's nice. You can adjust his little antenna eyepiece thing. That's pretty cool. They did a nice job in this helmet. I'd say that one and Finn are my favorites. Yeah. And this would be way more amazing if, if, if they it was were the just, right color. Yeah, just a little bit off. So here is the Hot Toys Boba Fett. So you can see how much different the color is on this Titanium series version. It's just a very odd color. I definitely think that is more accurate. Although I have heard some people say that the scuffs aren't accurate on this. Which, looking at pictures, it does seem like this helmet should be more scuffed up. But still, this one's definitely got the color better. And here is Sabine Wren's helmet, which she's also wearing Mandalorian armor. Unlike Boba Fett, she actually is a Mandalorian. And from what I've read, I haven't watched the Rebel show, but I've seen her a lot. But it's a pretty cool helmet. She's artistic I guess and that's why it's so painted all crazy. It's pretty. And I like the shape of the uh whatever you call that. The visor part? I yeah. guess it's the visor part. It's yeah. like a half a face. And you also bend down the thing on her. Mine's a little bent. You could probably fix it with the hair dryer, but I just haven't done it. And it's scuffed up a little bit too. That was pretty cool. And here is the Darth Vader helmet. And this is based on how he looks in the Rebels show, so it's a little cartoony. It's pretty cool, though. It makes it look like a more pissed off helmet, I guess. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of cool in that way. Uh, My helmet is angry! Here's the classic version. So you can see the difference. And they're both cool. I definitely prefer the classic, but it's cool to have this version, too. Mm -hmm. And the helmet pops off of this one. So you can see the... Well, Circuitry! But this one it doesn't pop off of. But yep, I think they're pretty awesome. Well, there's all the helmets together. I look amazing. And mine matches. <laughs> <laughs> but I think they I think they're all pretty cool. I hope they keep making these. Because I really like them. There's Yeah, they're they're a unique item. I like this. And there's so many helmets they can make. So many different types of troopers and other helmets that have been in a different series and movies. So It'd even be kind of cool if they made some heads. Yeah. I don't know if they'll actually do that. I want a butt face head. <laughs> <laughs> butt mouth, I believe you call him. Yeah. Butt mouth head. Well, I like the new series just as much as the last series. I think they're pretty well done. But yeah. this is Mystery of T. And I'm Zombie Cat. Thanks for watching a good man. Hey, my name's Finn, and I'm here to get you out of this place, Poe. Aren't you a little, like, 
giant fucking headed to be a stormtrooper? Everybody makes fun of my big head! Why are you covered in blood? My buddy died and wiped his blood all over me. All over you? It's, there's a lot of it around yeah, your neck. Yeah, a lot neck. of blood to wipe. He likes to touch my body. That's really weird. Well, look at you. Your bones are showing. It's not my fault. Isn't it? Mm, I don't think so. Huh. Well, you got a giant head, too, so... I'm not a stormtrooper. Let's go! I don't trust you. Fine. I'm gonna go wipe this off and keep being a giant-headed stormtrooper, then. Oh, damn it, man! You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe, Nate. Oh!